It is a great pleasure to welcome my friend, the Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister uh, Altani here to, uh, to Washington, um, and uh, all members of the uh, Qatari delegation. We're opening the fourth uh, Qatar-U.S. Uh, strategic dialogue and uh, great appreciation to all of our colleagues for the work that's uh, already gone into this and the work that is going to go into this uh, in the hours ahead. I think uh, if you look, uh, Mohammed, at the diversity of, of issues that we'll cover, it reflects a, a powerful reality, which is the growing strength of the relationship between the United States and Qatar, spanning shared security uh, and economic interests, cooperation on many regional challenges, and growing people-to-people -people ties, uh, among other things. Um, the events in Afghanistan over the past several months have reinforced that partnership, uh, including in, on the most sensitive and urgent uh, issues. Um, I had the opportunity to, to thank uh, Amir uh, Tamim in person for Qatar's extraordinary generosity, support, and cooperation uh, when I traveled to Doha in September and witnessed firsthand the massive joint operation to evacuate Americans, uh, foreign nationals, and Afghans who were our partners over our 20-year mission in Afghanistan. Of the more than 124,000 people evacuated from Afghanistan in August, roughly half transited through Qatar. Uh, and that work continues. Uh, since that time, Qatar has facilitated and funded an additional 15 flights and counting out of Afghanistan, enabling hundreds uh, of uh, U.S. citizens, thousands of others, uh, to leave the country. And the government uh, uh, and Qatar Airways continue to support charter flights out of Afghanistan for U.S. special immigrant visa holders and others. Uh, on that note, I can confirm that as of November 10th, all U.S. citizens who have requested assistance from the United States government to depart Afghanistan and who have, uh, we have identified as prepared to depart and having the necessary travel documents have been offered uh, an opportunity uh, to, uh, to do so. Uh, that includes more than 300 uh, America, 380, excuse me, American citizens and more than 280 legal permanent residents whose departure we have already facilitated.